One minute, ten seconds till the 10, start of the race. Nine, eight, seven, six, race number fourteen. Five, four, three, My microphone two, fixed here. One, All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm strapping my mic on, we're getting close to the start of race number 14. Breeze has shifted left. We're back in the 070065 range. So we made the appropriate adjustments here at the bottom of the course and at the top. It's uh, still breeze on, but um, just a little bit of a left shift. This looks uh, like a race. It's about to happen. You can see it. So enjoy. Okay. Mas Masterpiece Theater. I got, oh, yeah, you take that, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3 2, 1. All clear, all clear, all clear. Johnny is uh, shot out. And Nico and Julian are shot. Dude, it is, this is a hard condition. It looks like the wave angle is a little different right now. And a lot of people are having a lot of trouble. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of people are having a lot of trouble uh, getting through that first set of chop. Um, that was a full wave pumping display we saw. And um, it looks pretty technical out here. It looks really technical. So race 14 is off um, here in Townsville. Townsville shines. So we got some uh, new pertinent information about the rooftop party tonight. <laughs> the pool party. And uh, being held by the, uh, hosted by the Rambutan. We understand that it's a uh, meet the pros um, theme to the night. So while this is on uh, a delayed uh, broadcast, um, you know, I would like to just say, come, come down and meet the pros. But uh, you all know them. It's the locals we got to get them introduced to. Here comes James Neeson. Yeehaw. And here comes Joe Alec. Uh The boys, our sailing, our sailing boys somehow missed the cue. Expected more out of them. A good group of, um, like I said, uh, Australian Federation sailors um, are, are stepping into this fleet. So, uh, Joe Olick uh, sails by. Of course, Max Taylor, James Neeson, and, uh, and all the other guys. There's a, a bunch of them in town that are, uh, that are, that are sailors and, and sailing in this regatta. So, is that Nico on the green kite now? All green? Nico's gone black. That's correct. That must be like an ollie or a uh, an axle. Hey, who's this? Who's that? This guy starting right here. That's the laser guy. Oh right. He just he looks like he's changed his board. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. It's a, it's a surfboard. Who is on green? I don't know who that is. Um, it could be. It's either axle or ollie. I think. No, axle would be a pink. Um, I, and I can't even really tell if that's an ozone or an elf at this point. Didn't catch them as they went by. But Joey and Julian and Maxime are still on the same kites. They haven't changed. The breeze velocity has not changed. But uh, we've got a direction change. So now it's kind of coming straight down the pipe in between the two islands. Sea state is churned up. It's only three meters deep in this uh, in this bay here. So when the um, when the wind kicks up, the chop kicks up right away. We're talking about uh, different uh, course hazards out here. Of course, there's the uh, there's the sharks. There are the sharks, um, and there are uh, alligators or crocodiles. Crocodiles, crocodiles. crocodiles. and turtles. And turtles. turtles. When you hit the turtles. That's we don't like doing that. Um, we don't like hitting sharks or crocs either, I imagine. Um, 
But it's, you know, it's a real deal. We're out here in North Queensland, in Australia. Nice folks up here. So off that right-hand side is, uh, is that Peter Mueller? Yeah. He's deep right, coming in on the cross. And that green kite and Johnny seem to be race leaders right now. Um, Johnny's kite up. No, he's not tacking. Almost to lay line up there. Johnny's kite's going up for the attack. The green kite has not gone up, so the green kite was set back a little bit. Oh, Maxime puts his kite up at the mark, and I don't think that's his. First one around. That's not his tack. That's uh, Johnny. Four minutes, 30 seconds. And then a blue elf, probably Ollie. Ollie. Yeah. And then either Julian or Joey. And then Maxime right there, followed by Axel. It seems like Axel and Maxime are having trouble. They're, they're a little stuffed up at the mark. That green kite wasn't as pretty as I thought they were. Um, they're back. Nico loops his kite. The black one. Now, as a racer, you just need to be aware that this guy's going to jump in and hold on to the... Uh, What's he hold doing? On to the, hold on to the gate for photography. He's oh. got an underwater camera. Oh, great. So we're putting someone in the water at the gate. Yeah. Um, My only concern, like he's taking his life into his hands. Yeah, that's his, that's his problem. My only concern is does he create jag on the gate and, and start to... And un unseat it? Way. Nah. Well, hopefully not. Yeah. I think that's Matt, isn't it? The guy that was with us yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. The other, the other day, yeah. He's a nice guy. So he's getting dropped off at the gate. He's going to get some... Um, oh, my Lord. Will he get some great footage? We'll see. I told the guy in the boat, once you've dropped him off, fuck off out of there. Yeah, he's not fucking yeah. off. He's listening on 7-1, so just... Photo boat at the gate. You have about uh, 10 seconds to uh, depart. He's getting back off. Oh, fuck. He's getting back in the boat. He said no way. He, he chickened out. All right, piss off. There he is. Nice one, boys. How's this for a chase back? Look at that. Wow. He has just gated them. Yeah, Johnny is, uh, is extending. Horizon job. And Ollie is just so deep downwind. Deep thoughts by Ollie Bridge. Oh, he is. Good result for him, isn't it? Dude, he is deep. Look at that. In unison, all three of those kites shining out there. Axel, Joey, and Maxime. That was unreal looking. So the all green is Flo, Flo Ryan, rounding right in front of Nico Parlier. So Parlier is having a bit of a, a tough day today. He's changed kites. He's he's a little bit un, uh, unnerved, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, Marvin is doing some funky move. He just tapped the windward guide's lines. Did he? I think that's what happened. I think he, or I think he just collapsed trying to avoid. I don't know. That looked, yeah, it was. This is Matt on the yellow. Matt Taggart. Colin Starbird on uh, Adrian Geisinger. Or no, Marvin's Colin Starbird on Adrian Geisinger. Adrian jives inside of him, keeps his kite high, and Marvin ropes in around him. There goes Taggart. He's out of here. Oh, and Ricky uh, is on a different looking kite as well. So people did make kite changes. And Ricky's not going to be happy about this position either. Um, he must have gotten into some trouble up there. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at that, uh, the profile, the back of that, that new ozone. It's got that, it's got that tuck. Oh, Jesus, that was a wipeout and a half. He break, he break lines? He might have broken lines. That looks like. 
some sort of an issue. I think that's Jalen. I think I think that changed up and they've depowered a lot since this is the last thing. Uh-huh. Then the right. Yeah. When it twists like that, you're in trouble, right? Uh, it depends on if it like if it if it Untwist. if it rolls yeah. um, oh, there it is. inside of itself, kind of. Um, it starts to get worse. It's it's really just a matter of the bridles staying yeah. um, untangled. That's not a good look when it's uh, bow tied like that. I think he's got a broken line. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Exactly. So, um, Erica Heineken and Benjamin Petit round the lured mark. I'm sorry, we're watching this. Uh, Jalen just exploded coming into the lured mark and uh, tensioned everything up and now has a pretty epic looking hourglass in his kite. Gina is coming around, just uh, you know, gonna show Jalen what her foil looks like, going Mach three. Here's uh, at the bottom mark, uh, Locky Locks. Gina Houston and then Dave Truern. Gina had to avoid Locky there. They're going to have words. Jalen's over it. He's swimming. Swimming to his board. Oh, man. What a bummer. So Johnny and Ollie coming into the top mark. Let's see what Ollie's done to him on this beat. Ollie's got game right now. His run was ridiculous. So low. Yeah, um, he seems to still have some hope uh, for what he's trying to do. Actually, his kite just just went just went right. So it's Jalen. He's very uh, competent bloke. So we'll we'll let him try and work it out for another couple minutes. He's close. He's, yeah, I think real, he's, he's close. real close. Yeah. He's uh, might have it sorted, yeah. Yeah, baby. Yep. Yeah. Nice yeah. one. Oh, it's close. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Look at that. Fantastic. Reinflation. That is amazing. You think it's gone, right? Yeah, you think you're just toast. That is incredible. He had his kite in the water for what? Two, two or three minutes, yeah. sir. That's Joey on gray and orange in third. He's going to be happy about that race right in front of uh, Maxime and Axel. So Joey's made a play today. He's, um, he's had, he's had a, another good race too. Axel's had good races. It's, you know, it's, it's getting a little mixed up. Um, even though the condition hasn't changed, everyone was kind of expecting that today was going to be a little bit, light, a little bit of a lighter air day and that the, the deck was definitely going to be reshuffled. But now it's, uh, it's being reshuffled without really any gross changes to the conditions other than the fact that we're a little bit more left maybe a smidge down in velocity here comes the photog he's got his uh, toilet, toilet bowl okay yeah yeah so retirement from Jalen in yeah. this race he's gonna go get his nine he said so all he hasn't been able to uh tap into Johnny, but um, he's successfully defending his position against Maxime and Joey. He's so much lower than them. I'd say that's a retirement too. Which one? This one over here. Oh, who oh, is that? He's jogged around. Yeah. He's just going really shallow angles. So this is a finish, right? This is a finish. We should put a blue flag up. Yeah, it might be good. And uh, it's Johnny Heineken roping in. He's under control. Got that covered. You got a blue somewhere? Yeah. 40 seconds. That's uh, 10, 27, and 43. 
10, 27, 3, 27, and 43. Who's next, Ollie? Ollie. So here comes Ollie Bridge. Coming in second. And then it's close between Maxime and Joey. Maxime gets him. So it's Maxime, then Joey, then Axel. Nice tight finish between those guys. Uh -huh. Let's get this flag rattle down, but uh, race 14 is in the books. Finisher's still coming in, but... Um, Close between Julian and Florian, and Julian pumps through a couple waves skillfully and just pumps right past him. That was an awesome finish. That was a show of real athletic. Um, <laughs> that was awesome. And Florian, right next to Julian, gives him a big thumbs up. These guys are friends, not just competitors. Race 14, we'll see you back in a little while, signing off.